Hey guys, Bubba Bricks here with another video. This time here I give you a tutorial of how to make a upgraded Thor for Thor from Avengers Infinity War. So I really do like how those figures turn out. I've changed quite a few things to make him what I believe to be more accurate to the movie. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Now starting off with the legs. What I did for the legs is I actually took the legs from the Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens TIE Fire set. A uh, TIE Fire pilot made bigger and gave them to Thor. I've switched out this middle part right here for just a plain black one so that you knock that little uh, extra inaccurate design to the figure. And I really do like how these legs look on him with that nice black boot look that he does have in the movie. And then even these little lines right here, if you look at Thor from Adventures in Pain War, he actually does have those lines that go up. Um, that go up to the torso and I really do like how these look I think that they're very accurate to how he looks in the movie now moving on to the body the body is actually the arms and hands are different but the torso right here is actually the same one from the set I just really do like how it looks since the most accurate one Lego has now if I were the designer I would have changed a couple things but other than that it's a pretty good looking torso and now these arms are actually uh, the same arms that are in the uh, Star Wars Battle Packs uh, with the Shadow Troopers. And it has a nice metallic gunmetal look to it that really does add a nice armored uh, covered look that Thor does have in Adventures of the War. So I really do like how those arms look. And they just blend in really well with that black torso in my opinion. And these hands are just standard tan hands. They're available in many, many Lego sets. Most of you probably have them somewhere in your collection. So I really do like how those hands look. And I base this off of Thor in the Wakanda battle from Avengers Infinity War. Because I really do like that version of Thor. So then that's why he has uh, this these arms and hands rather than the plain uh, bare arms and hands that he has towards the beginning of the movie. And this cape is actually the same cape that came with the Thor from the first Avengers sets. I really do like this cape. I like this cape a lot better than the newer cloth capes are that Lego has been putting in many, many sets more recently. Just because it's a lot thinner and slick and it stays firm a lot better. So you don't have to worry about it like uh, getting bent or wrinkled as uh easily because it's more of a hard kind of cape and it just I think looks a lot better in general. And now the head and hair are actually the same head and hair that were available that are available in the Thor from the Avengers and Thing War sets as well as the Thor Ragnarok sets. I really like this uh, hair and head. I think that they're really accurate and give a nice look to Thor and an accurate look to Thor how he looks in Thor Ragnarok and Avengers and Thing War. So, uh, now moving on to the ham, to the Axe Thunder, I should say. I have actually changed this. If you've seen this set, the Axe Thunder, it's alright, but I really do not like many things with it. So I've actually changed it around. And what I did was I took this part right here, and instead of attaching, um, and instead of attaching that, like, root-like piece, I should say, that attaches here and then attaching the axe there, I actually took this piece right here. It's kind of a shorter pull. It was available in the Lego Ninjago Jay's Dragon set. If you don't have this, you could just use a standard black stick piece and put it in there. It would be a little bit longer. But I really do like how this pole looks in there. And then I gave the same axe piece that was available in the Adventures and Fate War set with Thor. Because I just think that that looks really nice and I put it on there as so, so that it uh, goes up and fits in there really nicely. And I just got a, um, for the uh, hammer part, I just went and got a normal um, metallic colored stud and got the, uh, I don't know what to call it, the flat studs on the top. They're really nice for designing smaller things and I just put that on here. And attach that to the back so to the back of the axe thunder, and I really do like how that looks. It gives a nice design, as I think is fairly accurate to how it looks in the movie. So now there you have it, my Thor, my Thor from Avengers and Fate War. I've changed many things, and I really like how it looks. Make sure to tell me what you guys think in the comment section below.